This is question 11 from paper 2 of the 2014 National 5 Maths exam. We're asked to change the subject of this formula to A. At present, the, form, the subject of the formula is S. So to change the subject to A, we're eventually trying to get a formula that looks like A equals some expression that involves U's and T's and S's, the other letters. So that's my aim to isolate A. And starting with the given equation, I'm only allowed to do the same thing to both sides to get A isolated. So I'm looking at ways to get rid of all the rubbish that's surrounding this letter A. So my first idea would be that a half can be got rid of by doubling. So both sides of this equation could be doubled. So I take this and double it, and then the whole of this side and double it. So I'm going to end up on the left hand side with twice s. On the right hand side, basically doubling the whole of this, if you, you double ut plus a half at squared, you're doubling both of these terms. It's like getting rid of brackets there. So we'd get twice ut plus and then twice a half, that's just 1, at squared. A half of at squared doubled will give you 1 lot of at squared. So that's my first move. I'm now looking at this adding 2ut. And I'm going to do the opposite of that. Now the opposite of adding 2ut would be subtracting 2ut. So to both sides of this equation... I'm going to subtract from both sides of this equation. I'm going to subtract 2ut. So on the left-hand side, I started out with 2s. I now subtract 2ut from it. This, when I subtract 2ut, that disappears. And I'm just left with the at squared. I'm now looking at times t squared, thinking what's the opposite of multiplying by t squared? Well, it's dividing by t squared. So both sides of this equation, that's the whole of this, gets divided by t squared. And all of this gets divided by t squared. So on the left, all of that divided by t squared. On the right, when I divide this by t squared, that vanishes, or leaves a 1 if you like, a times 1. What we're doing there, dividing top and bottom by t squared. So we get a times 1 over 1, which is just a. So I've got a on its own. And I think normally formula with a subject a you would write A first. So it's A equal 2S minus 2UT over T squared. Now there are other ways of doing this. We could have subtracted UT initially. And then doubled both sides. Possibly we might have kept brackets in there and then divided by t squared. So we would have got a equals two lots of s minus ut over t squared. 